Hi and welcome to Tech Talk Travel. In January's editorial, we're looking at Google's influence on the travel industry. Today I want to talk about how Google is facilitating the booking process in travel, but specifically for hotels. In his article, Mark Fancourt from Travhotech talks about Google's overall footprint on the modern travel environment. We've also created an infograph that will help visualize this. Right now, I want to talk about Book on Google. Towards the end of 2018, Google released the Book on Google feature across a range of new markets, launching in a number of European countries, as well as in Canada. These have all been added to the existing markets of the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia and New Zealand. Travelers have been able to search hotels and compare prices on Google now for some time. What Book on Google does is enable the booker to complete a hotel reservation without ever leaving Google. No doubt those in the corridors of Google would claim the Book on Google enhances users' experience when searching and booking for hotels. And based on some hotel websites and booking engines out there, they'd probably be right. In support of Book on Google, Google incorporated a tool called the Room Booking Module. Now the Room Booking Module is a feature in Google's Hotels Ads product. It gives all available channels, including the hotel's direct channel, the ability to show photos and publish rooms along with their pricing. So by launching Room Booking Module, Google continues to offer information and options to the booker in order to facilitate their decision-making process. It looks like a clear move towards providing hotel ads with features normally associated to OTAs. As most of us know, in a Hotels Google Ads campaign, hotels can choose to direct the booker to their own website or to the OTA. When Book on Google is activated, Google then connects the prices of the hotel's website or the OTA and gives the booker the ability to continue the reservation process without leaving Google. When Book on Google is not activated, then a user, after clicking on a price, either from the hotel's website or OTA, will leave Google and continue the booking process on the website of the hotel or through the OTA. Now this decision is entirely up to the hotel whether to activate or not. However, any campaigns that are a part of the room booking module will force all users to be redirected to the Book on Google feature without the possibility of redirecting them to the hotel's website. Now that reservations can be made entirely with Google, perhaps, but hotels should always have their own booking engine. From the sidelines, one could argue that this is quite clearly a strategic move by Google to encourage greater use of the Book on Google feature. But to what end? What is the long game here? Google has worked hard over the last few years to ensure their users have a seamless and a smooth hotel search process. Despite this, Google has still identified room where improvements can be made as part of their ongoing efforts to create the best hotel search experience possible. By wrapping the process up end to end with a booking option, it seems as though Google want to offer their users the easiest booking experience. For better or worse, Google's algorithms and metadata caters to the personalized booking needs of users. In turn, an unrivaled UI navigation and individualized set of options for each respective user is available. The high number of poorly optimized hotel websites and booking platforms out there presents an interesting challenge for Google. The question now is, how can Google best recommend hotels to their users, whose final bookability isn't impacted by outdated booking options? Their answer would be, most likely, Book on Google, an option that facilitates the booking, all encouraged by the smooth and frictionless hotel search experience. 
From Google's perspective, bookings made on their platform means users no longer have to deal with poor websites or websites and booking engines that aren't optimized for mobile use. Which in an age of smartphones and instant accessibility is something that should make hotels think about their mobile strategy. This seems like an obvious question given Google's growing interest in the travel sector and the recent rollout of Book on Google. Yet Google continue to insist that they have no plans to become an OTA in the immediate future. However, as a minimum requirement to use Book on Google, the hotels need to take part in a Google Hotel Ads campaign, and this is where payment is required. Some may suggest this process mimics OTA behavior, resembling them even more in terms of commission models or CPA since this is the model used by OTAs. So when it comes to Google's grip on the customer base and the power of search, Expedia's CEO, Mark Ockerstrom, said in December 2018, we need to be very watchful about what they are doing. Booking Holdings CEO, Glenn Fogel, has been less direct in his commentary, although the similar business model likely raises concerns. Booking.com has since increased its TV marketing efforts to build the brand recognition directly with their customers. Google's efforts and innovations in the travel space are all focused on the same objective. From destinations to trips, from its totally reinvented hotel and flight search experience, now up to its latest book on Google feature. These all prioritize one thing, relevance. Relevance to the booker's search, relevance to the booker's priorities, and relevance to the booker's ultimate experience. So what's interesting here is that despite seeking relevance in the travel vertical, Google has yet to fully commit to an OTA type offering. And this is best illustrated by the fact that there is no Google extranet for hotels to load inventory, pricing or availability. And while the book on Google booking is made within Google, a major difference between them and the current OTAs is that the hotel is still the owner of the data and the booking information, and something that hotel operators understand the value of when trying to build customer loyalty. Also, Google doesn't charge any commission on top of the reservations. Again, something quite different to the OTAs. So while on the surface Google is yet to become a fully fledged OTA, many of the Book on Google features are clearly putting this into question. Book on Google isn't going away. So like hotels did with the OTAs, they must get used to its presence and determine their own pros and cons when using it. There is an opportunity here for hotels to take the lead on this by staying up to date with the latest news, working with your technology providers and ensuring quality pictures of your rooms and property are available. And identifying ways to use Book on Google that best fits your distribution strategy. So if you are a hotelier, become familiar with it. Don't allow others to control the narrative on how you should use Book on Google. This is only going to lead ultimately to frustration and potentially lost opportunities. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the new format of video. We'll be mixing it up this year. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and please hit the bell icon to get the notifications whenever we release a new video. Until next time, it's bye for now.